This is Herman. Wow. These look pretty old back here. Esther E, 28th of April, 1895, the 21st, I don't know, March, I can't read that. Joanne Richter, GEB, 17th of April, 1818. Died 18th of June, June 1903. Wow. That's in German. 13th of March, 1831. Died 30th of April, 1887. Oh, this is pretty old up here. Here's, here's the baby one. Oh, that stick's holding up the things on an angle. Somebody tried to fix it at one point. Barbara Werner, 20th of August, 1815, died September 30th, 1883. This looks like 1889 or something like that. It's hard to see. There's stuff back here. October 1795, 26th of July, 1882. Oh, look at this one. Is that Joanna M? 1835 to 1881, it kind of looks like here. Any of that? Is there anything on the back side? No. I didn't know this went back this far. Shimp. W F H Shimp. Third of September, eighteen forty-eight. Twenty-ninth of February, eighteen eighty. 
and that's all in German. I can't read that. These must have been the first settlers around here. Wilhelmine. Louisa. 1845 to 1879. This looks like a grave. Let's look at this one. I wonder what this one is. It's got the thing around it. Ah, 1849 to 1879. Carl Weckhart, 1864 to 1879. This one is Maria Elisa Elizabeth. February Cemetery. Do a, add it to this because I didn't plan on coming here. I was just driving by. Kind of wanted to stop here for a while and check this out. Joanne F. Frank, uh, 1867. Looks like Lamina. top of the hill. This is probably close to the highest point around here. Close by? I don't know. I mean there's some higher, higher points farther away as you can see. Ernst. Oh, this one's like a 1909. It's hard to see that too. Man. Friends of all. 
15th of January, 1824, 21st of April, 18, 1914. Eloise, December 1811 to April 1893. There's another strip low. 19th of April 1824, 6th of June 1894. Oh, this one can read pretty good. Let's see, the light's not there. That's probably better. Friedrich Willem Streblow, 25th of March, 1823 to 24th of March, 1902. F. Wegward, 1859 to 1875. Ernst, 1865 to August of 1865. And a couple small ones here. Yeah, I'll have to see what this cemetery is. Check it out and uh, get some more information on the history of it. Alright, it's Tuesday, November 14, 2023. I, if you look in the distance up to the left, that's the cemetery on the hill there. And I was wondering what that's doing there. So when we check that out, uh, there's a bunch of old gravestones and everything. I originally thought that that was on the outskirts of the town of Houstisford. So what I found out was we're going to take a little trip two miles to the east. That... Uh, the cemetery sits on the on County Road R and Brown Road, right at the corner. So let's uh, let's head up that way. You can see it up in the distance, up to the left on the hill. Oh, there's all the tombstones. 
actually it's St. Paul's Cemetery in Iron Ridge. This is actually Iron Ridge, I guess. And uh, there was a church on that site from 1857 to 1890. It was a Lutheran church. So this is this is St. Paul's Lutheran Cemetery. So the church kind of went went by the wayside in 1890. No longer was used. And uh, so most of the people who attended that church actually went a few miles over to the east, which is where we're heading now, to the little tiny village of Woodland, Wisconsin, which I didn't even know was a village, and I pass through there all the time. So St. John's Lutheran Church in Woodland. But after the move, people were still being buried in St. Paul's for a while. All the records for St. Paul's Cemetery are stored at the St. John's Lutheran Church. Nice day today. 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Kind of crisp this morning. Woodland, huh? Yeah, that sign's been there forever. I've never really noticed it. <laughs> It is Woodland Unincorporated. This is only a few miles east of that other cemetery, St. Paul Cemetery. If you look on the Facebook page for the St. John's uh, Church, they just redid the floors in the in the church. Really nice. They had the floors refinished. of Rubicon it says oh yeah it's across the street over here Herman, it says here. Town <laughs> of Hubbard. Wow. I don't know what town we're in. So that solved the mystery of St. Paul's Cemetery up there on the hill.